Uh, good morning. Uh, so, as you can see up there, both Corey and I are uh, OpenStack architects or OpenStack operators. Um, so, we work in the NFE space, and in doing that, we are curious about um, things like 5G. And when you start looking into 5G, we start to find things like network slicing. Um, and what we wanted to do was to, to take a look into what 5G network slicing is and how we could participate using OpenStack in a, in a network slice. Um, so today we're going to talk to you about a little bit about 5G, a little bit about network slicing, and uh, how we could deploy a VNF into an OpenStack cloud and have uh, some sort of uh, have it participate in a network slice in some capacity. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we've we've had a lot of uh, talk about edge computing and and uh, and what that's going to bring. Uh, I want to just uh, touch on on some of the things that uh, uh, some of our colleagues have have already touched on. Uh, but we're we're about to see one of the largest transformations of the network uh, that we've we've had to date. Um, we're 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 going to see virtualization and slicing becoming more more predominant as we have to try and support some of these uh, edge use cases as we go forward. We've heard some talk about uh, APIs needing to have a standardized API so we can control uh, you know p components of the network that aren't necessarily ours we, we need a way to, to communicate with with other other network providers uh, harmonized protocols and, and of course exposure to to uh, third parties as we're as we're building out uh, we've listed out some of the often stated performance uh, requirements which uh, you know are, are Pretty, pretty insane. You know, we're we're about to see thousand times the the traffic demands. Uh, you know, we're we're expected to be able to see ten gigabit uh, uh, peak traffic to to some of these mobile devices on on the edge. Um, Sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties here. Okay, so uh, here's a here's a couple of uh, uh, images that Curtis and I came across as we were we were doing our, our research. Uh, we we thought they were they were rather interesting. So, the the one on the left you're going to see is uh, is a representation. The inner green green area is what we have as 4G today, uh, and you'll see that 5G is just a an expansion all the way around of of all the requirements uh, to to deliver that. So, uh, and the the one on the right. Uh, is depicting what some of those requirements are uh, in relation to some of the, the major use cases that, uh, that we've heard about today. So this is, uh, so in, in order to understand what network slicing is, we had to read a lot of documents. Um, at the end, I'll actually provide you with the bibliography because we had to, there was you know, somewhere between 80 and 100 documents that we read to try to figure out what network slicing is. So when you're doing that, we come, I came across quite a few uh, diagrams that I like. This is probably one of my favorite diagrams because of network slicing because it shows um, different slices, but it also shows uh, the NFEI infrastructure where, uh, which you know, in, in the context of this summit would probably be OpenStack. So there's, you can see we have a, a core cloud and an edge cloud, and those are places where OpenStack could participate in a network slice. Uh, so again, I mentioned there's all the documents you read. There, there's so many documents because there are so many standards bodies that um, are working to define what uh, network slicing is. Um, so we, like you can see, just there's just a, a large number of, of uh, standards groups and bodies, and they all have an opinion on what network slicing could or should or will be. Uh, so once when we went through all those documents, uh, we came up with a few. Uh, words or phrases that I saw over and over and over again and these are and we kind of turned these into what uh, we considered to be requirements for network slicing so these aren't like uh, official you know requirements uh, but these are these are words and concepts that we saw again and again uh, as we read through all these documents so end-to-end -end orchestration you know on demand uh, you know flexible uh, probably one of the more interesting ones is that we have to expose these network slices potentially to third parties uh, potentially multiple operators uh, would participate in a network slice. Uh, network functions are part of slices. Uh, also an interesting part is the idea of uh, recursion, where potentially uh, a network slice could be made up of other network slices. So there's all kinds of interesting uh, requirements and demands that could be, uh, that are required to, to potentially define what a network slice is. 
so obviously network slicing is not necessarily part of the Etsy NFE definition, um, but uh, you know, probably to do network slicing, we're gonna require uh, NFE and probably some sort of software defined networking as well, but it's not necessarily a uh, part of the Etsy NFE definition. Uh, this is probably my second favorite uh, <laughs> diagram. Um, I like this one because it shows that a, a VNF, so the VNF would be virtual network function, that a, a slice could potentially be made up of one or zero or more, zero, one or more uh, virtual network functions, right? So not only is it like a virtualized network, maybe some sort of quality of service, but there, there could be network functions that are part of it as well. Uh, so in this particular uh, Etsy document, um, NFE Eve 012, uh, they try to define where, like, so we know that OpenStack is typically made up of the, the in the green box of the NFVI, the NFE infrastructure and the virtual, virtual infrastructure manager, but where would uh, a network slicing component fit into? And, and in this diagram, we kind of put it out, separate it out, and there's some sort of separate function that performs network slicing. Okay, so really quickly, we, uh, as we were, we were looking into this, we had to look at the, the entire OpenStack uh, um, suite of products and, and projects. And we came across some that are, we feel are very related to, to what we need to do with network slicing. So this is, this is a list of them. We're not gonna go into to them in too many detail. We don't have enough time. Uh, what we're gonna focus on here in a moment is just a very quick demo that shows uh, the Neutron QoS features in OpenStack today and, and how we can, we can uh, orchestrate those. Uh, so uh, Neutron has a couple of different ways that you can apply quality of service. Uh, two, like the two that we have up here are uh, maximum bandwidth and then also DSCP markings. The demo that we're gonna do uses OpenBaton uh, and in particular OpenBaton's network slicing engine and that engine can use, uh, apply uh, Neutron quality of service policies uh, to uh, when a VNF is deployed. Okay, so here's just a, a real quick diagram of the OpenBaton architecture and where that network slicing engine might sit in relation to, to your VIM uh, and your NFU. Okay, so just very quickly using OpenBaton, we're going to instantiate a single VNF into the OpenStack pop, uh, and the VNF has a predefined uh, descriptor which includes the the QoS policy requirements. Uh, the VNF will then register with the network slicing engine, uh, receive notification, uh, and then that will have the QoS policy. The network and the network slicing engine will then ensure that the QoS policy exists, uh, and if not, then it will create it, uh, and then of course the policy will be. Uh, applied. So we'll uh, see if we can make this go. So on the top left, we are monitoring the uh, open baton. Uh oh, of course. Okay, so on the top left, we, uh, we're, we're monitoring the. Wow, we just did this several times this morning. Uh, so I should say that we did this talk earlier this week, so there is actually a recording of... There, there is, oh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so if you want, you could prob it's probably up already, and uh, you, could, you can find it, and you can actually see the demo running. Uh, but what happens essentially is that uh, we deploy a VNF using OpenBaton, and part of that VNF definition has a quality of service policy, and when the VNF comes up, uh, the network slicing engine will actually apply that neutron quality of service. So unfortunately we couldn't show you it, but uh, you know, I guess the demo gods did not help us out very much today. Uh, but there is a bibliography, uh, so we put up all the documents that we found related to network slicing. Uh, you can check that out. Um, thanks to the OpenBaton team, uh, we did a lot of work with uh, that, pro that particular open source project and it was very useful for us to be able to explore what network slicing is in the context of OpenStack. And, uh, it, I mentioned we did the talk earlier this week. We already got quite a bit of, po of good feedback, like some critical and some positive, and we learned quite a bit. So if, if, if there's people in the audience that have uh, things that they could let us know about network slicing, it'd be awesome for you to send us an email. And um, other than that, thank you very much. Yes, thank you.